Hey guys, it's Robbie and welcome back to Skinny Pop Legends. Today, I want to talk to you about someone called Aisha Erotica and discuss who she was. Really quickly though, I'd really appreciate it if you could subscribe to my channel and like the video, and also follow my social media accounts. But with that said, let's get into today's video. Aisha Erotica was an American singer, songwriter, and producer. She began her music career by posting songs on SoundCloud in 2015. However, only three years later, in late 2018, Aisha decided to quit music. She removed her songs from every music platform and deleted her social media accounts, but I'll get to that later. In 2016, Aisha released her debut album titled Big Juicy. The project consisted of eight hyperpop tracks, and you can still find this album on SoundCloud or YouTube by fans that have posted it online, as well as the rest of her discography. My personal favourite from this album is actually the title track, Big Juicy, but the fan favourite from the album is usually considered to be a song called 16. This is a song where Aisha sings about being 16 and warning her 25-year-old boyfriend not to try anything funny with her or he'll go to jail. Aisha then went on to release two more projects that same year, one titled Barely Legal and another titled Come Shot. But it was Aisha's next single, Literal Legend, that went on to receive attention from people outside of her niche fandom. A song about being an icon like Madonna, Marilyn Monroe and Rihanna. It went viral on TikTok and has gone on to receive millions of streams on fan uploads of the song. If Aisha kept this song on Spotify, it definitely would have received the same numbers. 2017 saw Aisha release skit EPs titled It's Lisa Bobby and Where Is That Damn Baby and also a regular EP titled www.fuckme.com. I actually really like her skit EP Where Is That Damn Baby. Aisha sings about a baby, dead babies, teen pregnancies, and condoms across six tracks. The project wasn't meant to be serious, it was an inside joke amongst her and her friends, but I actually think it's a really cohesive body of work. 2018 was then a really exciting year for Aisha. She began producing songs for other artists, such as Slater and That Kid, whilst also collaborating with them vocally on some songs. And whilst doing this, she was also preparing the release of her next album, titled Horny For You, which she described as a horny Christian pop album. And this theme was reflected in the lead single for the project, titled Vacation Bible School, released in September of 2018. Aisha sings about a boy she had feelings for at Bible school, but he didn't feel the same. She opens the song with the line, Sometimes I wonder if you still wanna fuck me. Like you said on AIM in 08, Bible study, we were buddy buddy. Aisha stated that this was her favourite song from the album, and I definitely agree with her, it's my favourite song she's ever done and it also went viral on TikTok. The album was supposed to be released in December of 2018, but this same month, both Aisha Erotica and Slater were doxxed. A lot of their private information was leaked online, including their phone numbers, emails, home addresses, and legal or birth names. Their phones and emails were flooded with inappropriate messages from fans. Their fans were completely infringing on their private lives, and that wasn't okay. Aisha and Slater had very different reactions to this. Slater was most definitely shaken up, but still decided to continue with her music career anyway, whilst Aisha actually decided to completely quit making music and she removed all of her songs from every music platform. Aisha posted a statement prior to her retirement where she said, I'm not releasing any further music at all. I'm not a public figure and I do not want to be an internet celebrity. Please respect my boundaries and stop sending me messages. Aisha actually went on to say she found it weird how people would use pictures of her as their own profile pictures. This is quite a common thing to do in the stan community, but Aisha was not here for it. And that was really the end of Aisha. There were rumours in 2019 that she was returning to music after pictures with her and that kid were posted on Twitter, but this was later debunked. And in 2020, there really isn't any sign of her. It's been almost two years since she quit making music, and for most artists, this would completely kill your fanbase. But for Aisha, this hasn't happened. She still has a growing fanbase that listen to her music via fan uploads and sometimes her songs are illegally released on mainstream music platforms, such as Spotify. It's interesting to think about what her career could have become if she'd continued releasing music, but sadly we'll never know. But what are your thoughts on this? 
Were you a fan of Aisha whilst she was active? Or have you discovered her music since she retired? Please let me know in the comment section down below. And before I go, I'd really appreciate it if you could subscribe to my channel and like the video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.